Hello. Today uh, we will review the past perfect. Then we will review wishes for the present and then we'll learn wishes for the past. After that we'll review hope versus wish and finally we'll introduce the conditional present and future. But first let's learn some new vocabulary. Okay, first a circus. A circus. A circus is a group of people and animals who travel around performing skillful tricks as entertainment. A circus tent. A circus tent. A circus tent is a shelter consisting of a sheet of cloth supported by poles and ropes. A circus tent is called a big top. A circus ring. A ring is an object in the shape of a circle. There are usually three big rings under the tent at the circus and performers present their shows inside these rings. A ring master. A ring master. A ring master is the person who introduces each performer. He or she usually wears a tuxedo and carries a big baton. Uh, and he or she usually wears a top hat. A seal. A seal is a large sea animal that eats fish and lives near the coast. Now, it is used for, for, for performing tricks in a circus. Elephants, lions, tigers and dogs are also used for performing tricks in a circus. A trapeze. Okay, a trapeze is a short bar uh, hanging from two ropes high above the ground. Trapeze artists use these swings to perform tricks. There is usually a net under the trapeze. Okay, next we have a high wire. A high wire. A high wire is a tightly stretched rope high above the ground that someone walks along. Now it's part of a circus performance and the man or the, uh, or the woman who walks along the high wire is called a high wire artist. A lion tamer. Well, a lion tamer is a person who trains lions to obey him or her and perform tricks. He or she uses a whip. An acrobat. An acrobat. An acrobat is a person who does difficult physical actions, such as walking on his or her hands. A juggler. A juggler. A juggler is a person who can keep three or more objects moving through the air by throwing and catching them very quickly. And lastly we have a clown. A clown. A clown is a person who entertains people by wearing makeup, dressing in funny clothes and doing funny things. Well let's repeat all these words again. We have a circus, a circus tent, a circus ring, a ringmaster, a seal, and a trapeze, a high wire, a lion tamer, an acrobat and a juggler and a clown. Past perfect tense. Well, let's begin with a review of the past perfect tense. Have a look at these sentences on your screen. Jim had arrived at the circus before nine o'clock. The juggler had already left by six o'clock. The clowns hadn't put on their costumes by then. 
the lion tamer had woken up by that time. Well, we use the past perfect tense to describe an activity or situation that occurs before another time in the past. The form for the past perfect is had plus past participle. The negative form is hadn't plus past participle. So the positive form had plus past participle and the negative hadn't plus past participle. Okay, time expressions used with this tense include before, never, by then, still, by that time, yet, already, and ever. Now, adverbs of frequency have the same placement as with the present perfect tense. For example, he had never arrived before 7 o'clock. Well, two clauses can be used in sentences with the past perfect. The first action, the earlier action, uses the past perfect, and the second action, or the later action, uses the simple past. Let's have a look at these examples. I had already left the circus when the storm began. The acrobat had fallen before the crowd arrived. The seal had just jumped through the hoop when the fire started. The clown hadn't even put on his makeup when it was time for him to leave. Now the past perfect is used in the main clause in each of these sentences. It's used to express the activity that happened first, the earlier activity. Well, let's practice using the past perfect. Okay, everyone, did you go to that circus that was in town uh, last week? I went. It was great. I went with Louis. We had a good time, but I didn't like the lions. They were scary. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Rosa. Uh, did you see the lion tamer fall? I had already left by that time. It was late. Oh, well, you were lucky. Lewis, did you see the people laugh at the clowns? Yes, I did. I had never laughed at clowns before, but these clowns were really funny. Yes, they were. And Rosa, did you see the lion tamer fall? No, I didn't. I had already covered my face with my hands. Lions are frightening. I'm very good job, everybody. And now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The crowd had never seen a tightrope artist before. My family hadn't gone to the circus in a long time. By the time Larry got to the circus, the trapeze artist had finished. The lion had just started to roar when the tamer used his whip. Read and repeat. Wish. Well, now let's review wish. So take a look at these sentences. I wish I knew what time the circus started. The ill acrobat wishes he were home in bed. Yvonne wishes she could be a clown. Her brother wishes he could be a trapeze artist. 
We use the verb to wish when we want reality to be different. That means we want it to be opposite to the true situation. When a speaker expresses a wish about a present situation, he uses a past form. Now with the verb to be, were can be used with all forms. For example, I wish I were a tightrope walker. Do you wish you were a tightrope walker? Well, let's practice. Let's use wish in our sentences. Okay, you went to the circus last week. Yep. What did you think? I wish I were an acrobat. They were strong and athletic. Great. Rosa, do you wish you were a lion tamer? No. No way. It's very dangerous. My sister wishes she were a lion tamer. She thinks it's exciting. Thank you, Rosa. And how about you, Monica? I wish I were a seal. All they do is swim and eat. I love fish. Thank you, everyone, very much. Okay, now I wish you would look and listen. Look and listen. The clown wishes he didn't have to wear paint on his nose. I always wish I worked in a circus. The ringmaster wishes the show didn't have to start at six o'clock. Mike wishes he knew how to walk a tightrope. Read and repeat. Wishes, past continuous. Well, now let's look at wishes about past situations. Take a look at these sentences. I wish I had gone to the circus. I wish I had bought a ticket for the circus earlier. Ken wishes he hadn't become a lion tamer. The ringmaster wishes... The circus had stopped at that town. Okay, the past perfect is used after wish when people make wishes about past actions. Let's have a look at this form here. We use wish plus the subject plus had plus past participle. So, wish, subject, had, past, participle. And the negative is simply wish plus subject, same, all the same as above. And then hadn't plus past, participle. Wish, subject, same as the positive, plus hadn't plus past, participle. Okay, well, let's practice. You went to the circus last week. What do you wish had happened? I wish I hadn't brought so much money. Rosa is an expensive date. I'm not. I wish I hadn't gone with you. I saw many handsome men there. <laughs> okay, okay, Monica, what do you think? I wish I had seen the seal act. I love seals, they're so funny. I wish I'd gone twice. Circuses are wonderful. Okay, now I wish you had looked and you had listened, but you can do it now. Look and listen. Nancy wishes she hadn't eaten so many hot dogs at the circus. The acrobat wishes he hadn't dropped the ball. The lion tamer wishes he had brought two whips to the ring. 
I wish I had bought some souvenirs at the circus. Read and repeat. Now it's time to look at hope versus wish. Have a look at these sentences. I hope that the circus will come to our town. I wish that the circus could come to our town. Let's look at two more examples. I hope the circus has a lot of clowns. I wish the circus had a lot of clowns. Okay, the verb hope expresses optimism or possibility. The speaker thinks something really is possible. Maybe it will happen. It probably will happen. The verb wish is used to express impossibility or improbability, which means the speaker thinks something probably won't happen. They want it to happen, but it probably won't happen. In the first sentence, the first sentence, the speaker is optimistic that the circus will come to town. So, uh, possible, Circus will come to town. Circus will come. In the second sentence, the speaker wants the circus to come, but it probably won't come. Circus probably won't come. But the speaker really wants the the speaker wants the circus to come, but it probably won't. The third sentence. Now, it's possible the circus will have a lot of clowns. Possible. The circus will have many clowns. The speaker wants to see many clowns, and it's possible the circus will have many clowns. But in the fourth sentence, the circus, again, the circus, uh, it didn't. I wish the circus had a lot of clowns. The circus doesn't have many clowns. Okay, so the speakers in these sentences all want something. With hope, it's possible. But with wish, it either it didn't happen or it probably won't happen. Let's practice. Monica, do you hope to go to the circus again next year? I wish I could. But I don't think I'll be here. I'll be home in Poland. Maybe I can go to the circus there. I hope so. Lewis, how about you? Of course, I wish I were a lion tamer. I wish I had been the lion tamer of this year's circus. Mm, you like dangerous things. Yes. Rosa, how about you? I hope I have time. I am very busy. I wish I weren't so busy. Well, I'm busy too. Thank you very much, everyone. Now, I hope you will look and listen. Look and listen. I hope there is a net under the tightrope walker. 
The lion tamer hopes the lions obey him. Jerry wishes he could juggle. My family wishes my brother hadn't run away and joined the circus. Read and repeat. Conditional present. Well, now let's talk about the conditional present. So have a look at these sentences on your screen. If a circus is in town, people come. A lion tamer shouldn't step into a lion cage unless he has a whip. If a circus isn't organized well, it can close. The circus can leave town early if people don't buy tickets. Now, the conditional present is used to refer to habitual situations or true situations. That means things that always happen. For example, if you drop a glass it breaks. If you drop a glass, it breaks. I drop, it breaks. Always, every time. Now, conditional sentences with if, or, unless, use the simple present. Simple present. If and unless plus the simple present. However, the modal auxiliaries of should or can, we can use them too. Okay, unless means if not in many sentences. For example, Unless I am rich, I cannot buy a Porsche. Unless I am rich, I cannot buy a Porsche. That means if I am not rich, I cannot buy a Porsche. Well, let's practice these. Rosa, can you try making a sentence using the present conditional? Yes. A juggler should practice if he wants to be in a circus. Excellent. And Monica, your turn. Unless I want to see the lions, I shouldn't go to the circus. Good. And what about you, Luis? If I don't have much money, I should go to the circus alone. There you go again, Luis. I thought we made a nice couple. We did. I think he's joking, Rosa. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. And if you want to practice more, you should look and listen. Look and listen. A tightrope walker can use a pole if he wants to keep his balance. I can't buy a ticket for the circus unless I find my wallet. A ringmaster shouldn't hire a juggler unless he knows what he's doing. If the acrobats want more money, they should perform better. Read and repeat.
traditional future. Well, now let's look at the conditional future. And we have some sentences for you on your screen. If the lion tamer continues to use his whip, he will hurt the animals. The lion tamer will hurt the animals if he continues to use his whip. If it rains tomorrow, I'm not going to go to the circus. I'm not going to go to the circus if it rains tomorrow. In the conditional future, if is followed by a verb in the simple present tense. We don't use will. But we have if plus simple present not if plus will plus simple present if plus simple present yes if will no for example if I will be late for the circus don't wait for me this sentence is incorrect the correct sentence is, if I am late for the circus, don't wait for me. Now, when a sentence begins with the word if, a comma must follow the if clause. For example, if the tightrope walker falls, comma, I will cry. The sentence begins with the word if, so a comma follows the if clause. Have a look at this example. I will cry if the tightrope walker falls. In this sentence, if is in the middle of the sentence, so no comma is necessary. Now, either clause can be in the negative, or both can be in the negative. For example, if the tightrope walker doesn't fall, I will cry. If the tightrope walker falls, I won't cry. If the tightrope walker doesn't fall, I won't cry. When a question begins with the word if, the simple present is still used in the if clause. Have a look at the sentence. Will you cry if the tightrope walker falls? Okay, let's practice. Lewis, what will you do if your father wants to join the circus? I will laugh if he wants to join the circus. He has a bad back. What can he do? Monica, uh, what will you do if you find a lion in your bed tonight? If I find a lion in my bed tonight, I will scream. My father will call the circus and then he will tell them they have a missing lion. That's a good answer. Rosa, what will you do if Lewis says he wants to go to the circus with you again? If he asks me again, I'm going to tell him yes. I will pay this time. Well, you're a nice girl. Thank you. Okay, so now if you want to practice again, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. If Paul is at the circus, I'm not going to go. The trapeze artist will refuse to perform if there isn't a net. The seals are going to jump through the hoop if the clown holds it low enough. John will sit near the ring if he doesn't bring his glasses. Read and repeat.
review. Well, let's do some exercises. I want you to fill in the blanks with the appropriate verb in the past perfect. Rosa, you can go first. We go. The Davis family something before the clowns welcomed the crowd. Davis family something before the clowns welcomed the crowd. What do you think it is, Rosa? That's difficult. The Davis family had arrived before the clown welcomed the crowd. Good. The Davis family had arrived before the clowns welcomed the crowd. Okay. Let's go with you, Lewis. One for you. The woman screamed after the acrobat something. Woman screamed after the acrobat. What do you think it is? That's difficult too. Mm. The woman screamed after the acrobat uh, had fallen. Good. The woman screamed after the acrobat had fallen. Okay. Monica, here's one for you. The circus something already something when the tent fell down. Okay, what do you think this one is? Gee, I hope this is the correct answer. The circus had already finished when the tent fell down. Good. The circus had already finished. The circus had already finished when the tent fell down. Yes, you're correct and no one was hurt. Okay, well let's review wishes for present situations. Uh, let's pretend we're going to join the circus. What do you wish you were? For example, I wish I were a seal. I love to swim. Okay, Monica, what do you wish you were? I wish I could be a clown. They're so funny and I love to wear makeup. Great answer. Lewis, what do you wish? I wish my brother could join um, the circus. He's so annoying. He would be a good clown. Okay, and Rosa, what do you wish? Uh, I'm not sure. I wish I could be a clown too. I wish I could be a tightrope walker. Uh -huh. I wish I could be a trapeze artist. I love to swing. I'm sure you would be good. Thank you very much, everyone. Well, now it's time for some exercises using wish with past situations. So I want each of you to give me some sentences using wish in a past situation. Let's see. Luis, you are a tightrope walker. Rosa, you're a clown. And Monica, you can be a lion tamer. Okay, Luis, what are your sentences? I have some funny sentences. I am in the hospital. I had an accident. I fell from the tightrope. I wish I had used a balancing pole I wish there had been a net under me. I wish I had listened to my mother. She didn't want to join me. She didn't want me to join the circus. Oh, you have a very good imagination. Rosa, what are your sentences? Here are my sentences. I wish my friends had joined the circus too. I wish I had worn more makeup last night. I wish I hadn't left the schools. Clowns don't earn enough money. Good answers. Monica, your sentences? Here are my sentences. I wish I weren't a lion tamer because I don't like lions. I wish, I, I wish the lions weren't so hungry because they were so angry. Mm. I, wish I, weren't, I wish I had had two whips last night because I was very frightened. Very good. Thank you, everybody. Okay, well, let's do an exercise using hope or wish. Now, you can give me one sentence using hope and one sentence using wish. And Monica, you can go first. Um, 
I wish the circus didn't have lions. I hope the clowns are funny. Very good. Rosa, what are your sentences? I hope I can go to the circus next year again. I wish I had a boyfriend to go with me. Maybe you will. Lewis, what are your sentences? Here are my two sentences. I wish I had brought more money with me to the circus. I hope the circus has four rings next year. Excellent. Okay, well now it's time for an exercise using the future conditional. And I want you to fill in the blanks using the appropriate verb of the future conditional. Okay. Luis, you can go first. Let me just t take this off the board. If I save some money, comma, I a circus. Lewis, if I save some money, I something a circus. If I save some money, um, I'm going to buy a circus. Okay. You must save a lot of money. A lot of money to buy a circus, indeed. If I save some money, I am going to buy a circus. If I save some money, I am going to buy a circus. Very good. Okay, Monica, you do this one. The acrobat something if he isn't careful. The acrobat something if he isn't careful. Okay. The acrobat will fall if he isn't careful. Good. The, the acrobat will fall if he isn't careful. Last one's for you, Rosa. The ringmaster something if no one comes to the circus. The ringmaster something if no one comes to the circus. What's That's your... easy. The ringmaster will be angry if no one comes to the circus. Good. Excellent. Okay. The ringmaster will be angry if no one comes to the circus. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Well, now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write. Number one. The trapeze artist had already fallen once. Number two. The acrobats had just performed the trick when my sister arrived. Number three. I hope I can go to the circus. Number four. Paul wishes he could be a clown. Number five. Robert wishes he had gone to the circus last week. Number six. Larry hopes there is a lion tamer at the circus. Number seven. That acrobat could use more balls if he wants to excite the crowd. Number eight. If Bobby has five dollars, he will go to the circus. Number nine. I am going to leave if the lion tamer gets close to the lion. Number ten. The clown is going to have to learn new tricks if he wants the crowd to laugh. Now, check your work. Number one. The trapeze artist had already fallen once. Number two. The acrobats had just performed the trick when my sister arrived. Number three, I hope I can go to the circus. Number four, Paul wishes he could be a clown. Number five, 
Robert wishes he had gone to the circus last week. Number six. Larry hopes there is a lion tamer at the circus. Number seven. That acrobat could use more balls if he wants to excite the crowd. Number eight. If Bobby has five dollars, he will go to the circus. Number nine. I am going to leave if the lion tamer gets close to the lion. And number ten. The clown is going to have to learn new tricks if he wants the crowd to laugh. Well, now read the story and listen to the questions. Read and answer. Annie is a clown in the Barnum and Bailey Circus. She likes to make people laugh. Once she had tried to be a tightrope walker, but she was always frightened. She had already fallen twice when she said that was enough. Therefore, now she is a clown. Annie loves to wear blue and red makeup. She wishes she could wear a bikini, but the ringmaster won't let her. It sometimes gets very hot under her clothes. She hopes the circus will go somewhere soon where it isn't so hot. Annie wishes she had been a gymnast in high school. Her legs would be stronger now, and she could do better tricks. If she does better tricks, she will make more money. Annie and her boyfriend Tim want to get married soon. They want to have one child. Annie's boyfriend will quit his job if Annie makes more money. He will be a house husband. Well, now listen and answer the questions. Number one. Where does Annie work? Number two. Why does she work there? Number three. Why didn't she become a tightrope walker? Number four. What color makeup does Annie like to wear? Number five. Why does Annie want to wear a bikini? Number six. What does Annie hope? Number seven. What does Annie wish? Number eight. What will happen if she does better tricks? Number nine. What do Annie and her boyfriend want to do? Number ten. How many children do they want to have? Well, now check your answers. Number one. Where does Annie work? Annie works at the Barnum and Bailey Circus. Number two. Why does she work there? She likes to make people laugh. Number three. Why didn't she become a tightrope walker? She was always frightened. Number four. What color makeup does Annie like to wear? She likes to wear blue and red makeup. Number five. Why does Annie want to wear a bikini? She wants to wear a bikini because it gets very hot. Number six. What does Annie hope? She hopes the circus will go somewhere cooler. 
Number seven, what does Annie wish? She wishes she had been a gymnast in high school. Number eight, what will happen if she does better tricks? If she does better tricks, she will make more money. Number nine, what do Annie and her boyfriend want to do? They want to get married. Number ten, how many children do they want to have? They want to have one child. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Practicing English. Hey, you guys, look at this. There's a circus coming to town. Really? I love the circus. I used to go every year when I was a kid. My dad used to take my sisters and I all the time. I love the circus. The circus, huh? I haven't been to the circus in years. I love seeing the elephants and lions. The clown scared me to death, though. My mother has this picture of me screaming my head off with the circus clown. I wish I could see that. So we're going to this, right? Yeah, when is it? They come a week from today and we'll be staying for eight days. Hi, everybody. Hey, Derek. What are you guys talking about? Monica just saw that the circus is coming to town and we all want to go. Will you come with us? You mean clowns and animals? Stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. Do you like the circus? Yeah, of course. When shall we go? Well, why don't you all give me your schedules and I'll check and see when we're all free. I hope we have an afternoon or night we can all go. Hi, Dave. Hey. Great news. Yeah? What's up? Well, I checked everything, and we're all free Wednesday afternoon, the 8th. It's going to be circus day. Great. I feel super about this. You know, the circus is an old entertainment tradition. If people don't get out there and buy tickets, the circus won't make any money. I know. Today, young people have so many ways to spend their time. Computer games, DVDs, the internet. This is our chance to see some live entertainment. Monica, I just had a great idea. Why don't we see about making this a school activity? Maybe there are students who would like to go and have never experienced a circus before. What do you think? That's a great idea. I think the students would love that. Well, let me get on the computer and make a flyer to advertise our circus day. Then I'll make some copies, hand them out to all the teachers, and then we can collect money and buy the tickets. Great. Let's see what the others have to say. Hey, Carrie. Hey, hey, Carrie. Where have you been? I was doing some shopping. What are you guys doing? Well, Dave and I were thinking that maybe it would be more fun if we opened up our circus day to students and not just teachers. Well, that idea has a lot of potential. I think a lot of them would enjoy an afternoon out. Why don't we talk about it in classes this week? Dave is making a flyer right now. If people are interested, they can sign up and pay their money. Then, we can buy tickets for the Wednesday show on Friday. Great, I like this idea. Who thought of it? Well, to be honest, it was all Dave. In fact, our little computer genius is going to be making flyers that we could use later this week. Oh, you guys are really taking the lead on this one. It's good. Hi, everybody. Hey, Tarek. Hey, Hi, Tarek. How good. are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Hey, you two look like you're cooking something up. What are you up to? Well... Actually, it's the three of us, and with you, that would make four. I have to start hanging around here more. I feel like I'm always the last to know everything. You tell him, Monica. Well, we're set for Circus Day on the 8th, next Wednesday. We want to open this up to students here at school, too. And Dave is making a flyer. Did you say the 8th? Yes, why? Oh, no. What's the matter? I checked everyone's schedule. You're free, right? Well, actually, I'm not. What do you mean? Well, some of the students in my class asked me to help them with gerunds and infinitives. And they picked Wednesday afternoon, next week, the oh, 8th. Oh, no. We miss the circus with us then? 
well, I'm not sure. If I can talk to them in tomorrow's class, perhaps we can move the study date to another afternoon, and then we can all go to the circus together. Okay, we'll check with your class. It would be great if we could have all four of us together for this afternoon. We hardly have time to spend with each other. Okay, I don't want to miss this. Let's try to work it out. Let us know, okay? Monica, thanks for organizing all this. It should be great fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs>